let's now look at the second part of the first task in the 21-22 Higher Admin and IT assignment. So if you remember in the last video, we created a query to deal with all the elements we found in the email. The second thing is we have to create and print a report, specifically looking for the tutor name, the course taught and the amount their pay will increase by. We have all this information already in the query. You'll see, see that. So we're going to use this query to create a report. I notice here at the end, it's looking for additional information at the end of the report. It's looking for a total cost of all the increased salaries. So we're looking for a grand total at the bottom. And it's reminding us to give it a meaningful title, the report a meaningful title, and to put the college logo also in the report. So now we have to create the report based on the query. There's actually two different ways to create this report and to get all the information we need. I've gone into create and I'm going to go into report wizard. There's other ways you can do it, but I'll use report wizard in this example. It's showing the table course tutors. That's not the one I want. I'll go to the drop down and find my query. I need the first name and the surname. I need the course name and the increase in salary amount. Click on next. It's asking how to view the data by course tutors or by courses and you'll see what it's going to look like. I'm going to go for by courses so everything is on the same line. I'm going to click on next. Now it's asking if I want to add any grouping. Now let me just go on to the next section to show you why we do need grouping. I want to get the total of all the salary increases. If I click on next, I'm expecting to see a summary options box at the bottom, but it's not available. Let me go back a step and select grouping. I'll do on course name. I'll select it and then go on next. And now my summary options are available. Click in it. Increases there because it's a, a currency there, it's, an, it's numerical, I can do it. Click on the sum box, click on OK. And then next, looking at how do you want the report to look, doesn't actually say in the question, but I'm going to go for block and that's how it's going to look um, once I create it. Click on next. We did, we have been asked to give it a suitable title and courses is not really suitable. So let's go for salary increase for course uh, leaders. That looks more appropriate. Let's click on finish. Now, my report is there. The total that we need is there, but it's very busy and it's not ready for printing yet. So let's close the print preview and let's take out some of the information. This whole section here with the summary course name and the additional showing the increase in salary, we don't need any of that. I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to hit delete. I'll take off the extra sum. I don't need, need that extra section there, uh, nor this one here. So I'm just clearing out the information that I don't need. Let's view it and I can see, well, we've got our total here, that's fine. We've got all the fields in the wrong order and I can't actually see the full text in that course name. So let's go back and make a few design changes. You can easily move the, the field order just by dragging and dropping. So I know that I want the course name towards the right of the report. So I'm just going to literally click and I'm going to click and drag across. And then I'm going to move the this section, the page header. These are all my field headings. So let's move that across. And the information in the detail is going to follow. Don't need it to be quite as big a space here. So I'm just going to narrow that down like that. Let's bring across, this is me moving the tutor surname field heading. And the, the actual detail will be underneath. And again, let's just make that uh, narrower. We definitely need much more space for the course name. So I'm just going to stretch that out like that. And then the increase should be fine. So let's just have a look at that and see how, how it looks. 
that's fine. First name, uh, last name, course name increase. Slight alignment issue there. If we're being really picky about it, we could go back and just say, well, it's slightly out. So, you know, you could sort of move it just a little bit to try and make sure it's absolutely in uh, alignment like that. Not too bad there. And let's view it again. And that will do. The word grand total is not a great label there. So let's go back and change that. Let's now call this, let's say, we'll call it um, the total, let's say total, oops, <laughs> spelling, <laughs> total salary increase, like that. And we'll have a look. And everything is there. So this 13,000, we're going to go back and have a look at this. It's kind of bunched up here. I'm just going to actually make this box bigger so you can see essentially what the sort of formula is um, that we need to get the total salary increases. You might want to take a note of this. We'll need this for the next way of creating this report. I'll just put that back in a line again and view it. And we'll see there that that report is finished except for the logo. We'd go into view and then design view. And although we're looking for the logo, so if I click on um, in this top section here, I think actually it's better to insert an image. So click on the image, find the logo. In this case, we have it CCS logo. And let's just kind of, you know, make space for it at the top of the report maybe towards the right hand side there. That's it in a quick double check. And here we have the report finished. Now you might find that having to go and delete information and move fields about is a bit of a faff. So let me show you another way that you could have created this report. So let's go back and do it again. Create report wizard from the query the first name, the surname, the course name, the increase, click on next. We'll view it by courses and next. We're not bothering with grouping straight across. We'll leave it um, like this. There's no summary options. Just click on next. The tabular format there, that looks fine. Click on next. We said we need to give it a, an appropriate title and we said we just do salary increase by uh, course leaders like that and then we're going to finish. The report has come up very nicely, almost almost perfect, everything in order, the field in the right order. There's no total though and I can see we still can't quite see the full course names. So remember we'll close the print preview, we're now in design view, it'll just take a very uh, small change to get the course names in full Let's just take off some space from the tutor surname and let's just extend the course name like that. And let's have a little look and see. So that's all fine except for the course total. So it's back into design and we need to add the, uh, the total increase in salaries as a report footer. Right now, there's no space. But I'm just going to drag and give us some more white space down here in order for us to fit in the information. We need to be in report design and we're going to insert a text box. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it into the area I want. You'll actually see there's, there's two different boxes, a yellow box with unbound and behind it is sitting a text box like that. So we're going to move the unbound. This is where we're going to in a, in a moment or two, just put in this sort of formula we need. I'm not sure why the text box has followed, but let's just take it back. We, we want that to sit at the left of the report. And we said we would call this label, uh, I think we said um, total, oops, I'm doing capitals actually, total salary increase. At the moment, it's linked, but it doesn't know how to get the, the salary increase. And if you remember from the last example, we need equals, we need sum, obviously to give us the adding. We need 
the, the round bracket to allow that formula to complete. We're using the, the heading increase. Remember, that needs to go in a square bracket. So let's just type in here increase like that. We need to close the field heading off with a close square bracket and then a close round bracket to finish the whole thing off. Let's have a look. I can see, well, it's not bad. It's just about in the right place. Well, it is in the right place. Uh, the label is there, but it hasn't been formatted the way it has been above. Easily sorted. Back to view. Back to design. And I have to right click. And right down at the bottom is properties. An awful long list here, but in there you'll see fourth one down. We can format. Click on the options. We can go for currency. The decimals are automatically um, shown. So let's just have a look and view it again and see here we have the finished report, including the label at the bottom with a total salary increase. And again, if we're putting in the, uh, the logo in the right hand corner, click in the report header, click on image, find the college logo, drag into place where you want the logo and then view it there. So that is another way that you can do this report.